think um, where I've been more successful is waiting for the perfect location. Even if like LA, for example, took eight years, Miami took five years, but I got the location I love. And those stores do way better than, you know, just taking an taking available anything place. That, yeah. Um, no, opening stores in the right locations that you really feel passionate about, yeah. both the space, the architecture, and the location are so important. But I'd say the biggest mistakes I've made have been more in just not hiring the right people and mm. not listening to mm -hmm. my gut. Because mm -hmm. almost every time I've had an employee and it, you know, for whatever reason it didn't work out, I can look back and almost, you know, rem remember myself feeling you know, I'm not sure about this. Yeah, so listen to your gut, no matter how busy you are, is so key with everything. I mean, I have had products that I don't really feel great about, and I yep. let them happen, and they don't do well, and I'm like, oh, you know, I knew it. Um, so that's frustrating, so if you don't listen to that, um, you either succeed or don't succeed, but you fail internally if you didn't listen to yourself. But also, when you're talking about hiring people, I think not just getting their references, but their references um, not just from them, but from the people who've worked under them, not just the people they reported That's to, really, yeah. uh, to see how they work as a team um, with older people, younger people, because as you want to grow a great team and, and especially in a too. creative environment. As we've gotten competitors, um, you know, my dad or other people are like, don't don't pay attention, just keep your eye on, on the ball on and the focus ball. on your product, what you're making. Yeah. being proud of your brand. It's true. You know, I also think of it like um, running a race. Like if you're running a race and you're looking at the lane to your right or your left, you're going to trip yeah. instead of like so focusing smart. forward. So. I have a saying that is um, you should always reflect, but you should never regret. Mm. Because regretting things doesn't make it better. It doesn't help it. It doesn't change it. But when you reflect upon it and it allows you to kind of think forward and say like, how can I do this better? Or how can I give more time to this or be more present for this? Um, and then I think as a mom, like you just you try to be present. I have the one I use is um, awareness, acceptance, action. I like that too. Cheers! Cheers! Yay! <laughs> Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.